and welcome to my latest RG350 video. So it's been a couple of months or so, or maybe less than that, but um, it's been a while, shall we say, since we've had a, a look at some more Final Burn Alpha games running on the RG350. And um, you know, I don't know a lot about this system, so I'm discovering these games sort of the same as you as we sort of go along. So the last one we looked at was Neo Drift Out, new technology, which is a, quite a, a fun little racing game. So let's have a look through and, and play a few more. So Ninja Combat, that looks like a beat em up. Ninja Commando, Ninja Masters. Should we try that one? Ninja Masters, hey? So I've got no real idea what these games are like, except, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give them a try and just see how we get on. Uh, certainly, uh, I've been loving discovering these games because, uh, it, you know, just never really played them before much. Okay. How to play. Okay. So it looks like a standard beat em up. But we don't mind those. They seem to be doing him some damage, which is good. Oh, he's on his second lot of life. Oh. Yes, go on. I'm going to hit you in the face. I'm going to hit you in the face. He's... I think they did all right there. Let's turn it down a little bit. <laughs> Okay, round two. Yeah, nice graphics on it. I love the backgrounds. Come back here. He's been a bit hard, a bit better this this round. Yeah, very nice guy. Got him. Well, that looks fun, doesn't it? Bro, my next matchup. Let's just go into a different scene. I've got a different opponent who's probably miles better than me this time. There you go. <laughs> and the good thing about the majority of these Final Burn Alpha games is that they are sort of pick up and play fun. Because they were generally in arcade machines, so that's how they were designed. He got me that time. <laughs> No worries, that's cool anyway. Let's have a look at the next one. Nostradamus. Oriental legend. Ozman. Let's have a look at Ozman then. Or oh, is that for something new? Okay. Oh, I should have ducked there. Well, this is Fast and Furious. Oh no. Well, I was not expecting something like this. How do I get over? Pretty unforgiving, isn't it? Oh, 
Wow. What a game this is, blimey. That's some sort of boss there, which I fell in the fell in. Should we have one carry on? See if I can just get the ball. Oh, the boss is gone. Ah, so if you put in your another. <laughs> How am I going to get across that? I don't know. Oh, there we go. oh dear. No. Outrun? Oh, well, we've got to have a go on Outrun. It's one of my all time favourite games. It's a bit loud there. I love a bit of Outrun. Okay, well, we'll give it a blast. So, does anyone watching this video remember playing this one? in the actual arcade. There was a few variations of it, there was Outrun and uh, there was the, the sit-down version of it as well. It actually sat down in a little car. Oh. The best Outrun I ever played is the one on uh, the Xbox, which is Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. That's a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun, that one. And comes recommended. Oh dear. Pushed off the road by the lorries. Not fair, is it? That time. Didn't get very far, did I? <laughs> Worth it for the soundtrack alone. So good stuff. That's Outrun. POW Prisoner of War. SNK, that stuff's usually pretty good. Let's see what we got to play with today. Hmm, okay. So, ah, so, so you're in. You're a pre -OW, and it looks like you've got to fight your way out of prison. That's cool. We can do that. Oh dear. Quite like the premise of being inside and you've got to uh, escape. Oh, the guys have suddenly got better. How come they've got those sticks and I haven't got anything yet? Okay, he's got a bayonet. Come on. Ah, there's something on the floor there. Aha! Oh no, I've just used it. Oh, it was a knife. I've just used it up. Bloody hell. Ah, oh, unlucky guys. <laughs> anyway, that looked pretty good fun, didn't it? Prehistoric Isle. Okay. Prehistoric Isle in 1930. <laughs> During the 1930s, there may have been shipwrecks. Oh, conducting an investigation, I see. You got it.
Oh, it's a sideways shooter. And you're a shooting dinosaur as well. What could be more fun? I don't know if I should have shot the Stone Age man there or not. Oh yeah, maybe I should have. Oh no, I'm doing so badly. God, my plane was slowly getting worse and worse. I was losing control. Oh, it's just so difficult. Very, very hard. Yes, it's designed to keep you putting in the cores. You've got to get those power ups, or you're going to be struggling on this game. But I, I like the premise 1930s Dinosaur Island. That appeals to me, oh, that's a bit easier. Ugh. I was doing so well. Huh. <sighs> I'm afraid this game has beaten me, although it was actually quite a bit of fun to play. So, uh, brilliant. Let's move on to the next one. Polestar. Okay, this looks like another shooter of some sort. And I do like a good shooter. Let's let this one load in. Okay. Okay. Stage one. Quite polished this, isn't it? Another side scrolling shooter. And I don't mind them, but some of them can just be like the dinosaur one last time. Just too difficult to play. They're just really uh, overly hard. A single power up yet, which seems a bit unfair to me. Can you think? Actually, had a, a small power up after all that time. That looked like a boss thing. Well, pretty good, but quite also quite hard, as these tend to be. And I don't think playing these on the RG350 screen is perhaps the best, because, you know, everything is in such small detail. But, I got it. But then again... It is great gaming on the go, isn't it? And I think that ultimately is, is what it's all about with these little pocket handhelds. It's great gaming on the go. And this one certainly isn't bad. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the next one. Rage of the Dragons. That sounds cool, doesn't it? So we're on to the R's, working our way through. Uh, these are all ROMs that came with my RG350. 
The model I bought came with a preloaded game card. I uh, just bought it off Amazon, so I've linked to that one below. Um, but you can also get them from Droiks in the UK. They're very, very uh, a great company, and they do next day del delivery, and they have lots of support files as well and forums, so they can be recommended. So Droiks or Amazon would be perhaps your best bet. You can get them off AliExpress, but with the current world situation, stuff's taken a long time apparently to arrive. Okay then, another beat em up. I wasted my special move there. <laughs> Don't I think I've almost got him. Oh, he got me. He got me in the end. Yet another beat him up. Can you believe it? <laughs> Oh, but I've got my backup girl in now. Ooh, look at that. Oh, no. Come on, I'm getting stuck here. Let the car. Right then, what's next? Rega Strato Fighter. Let's give that one a try, shall we? got time for probably another couple of games and then we'll have to call it a day for today. So, Strato Fighter, let's see what this one's got to, got to offer us. Stage one, yeah, we're ready. Another sideways shooter. Oh dear. That was my power-ups as well. Oh no, I got no chance now. Why do they make these so hard, eh? I think they just think you've got really quick reflexes. <laughs> Thank goodness we got continues, eh? But it is back to the entire start of the stage. Oh, not enjoying this one, I'm afraid, guys. It's just too difficult. From the off, it's too difficult, and I don't. I think they can be overly hard, you know. It needs to be a tiny bit more forgiving to warrant my attention. I'm just saying, okay. Yeah. Well, there we go. I don't think we're going to have another game of that. Um, but there you go. Right, so we've got Real Bout, Fatal Fury, 1, 2, and Special. Let's play 2. Yet another beat em up. So we'll have just a couple more games and then we'll call it a day for today. But um, there's probably enough uh, games on the system for another couple of videos, to be honest, when we get around to it. There's just so much great retro content to cover at the moment. Let's put some money in. Oh, 
played Rick. Rick versus Andy. Okay, I will. Not going anywhere. Rick, you're pathetic. Well, I have to say, either I was pathetic or the game's a bit a bit unbalanced, shall we say. I think it's probably a bit of both. <laughs> Still, the game must have been well received if it's had three versions of it. Oh, I'm close, I'm close. <laughs> Anyway, I think we better wrap it up today, as the video will be a bit too long. But if you've enjoyed me looking through Final Burn Alpha on the RG350, do please give it a thumbs up. Do please uh, consider subscribing to the channel for regular retro gaming content. Um, I've got loads on the RG350 and I've got loads more planned still to come. Thank you once again for watching today. And I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.